All right, everybody, welcome to uh, unboxing and kind of an in-depth view, I think, of uh, Forbidden Fortress. Get your safety cutter out. We're going to cut this sucker open and look into it. If you hear a ticking in the background, no, it's not my pacemaker. I had to change my location on this little <laughs> table because uh, my other table is overrun by other Shadows of Brimstone stuff right now. So there, you might hear that ticking is actually my Star Wars clock, which I'm really close to. So um, let's let's get into this bad boy right here. I don't know how many of you uh, play Shadows of Brimstone. But if you don't, you should, because it is one of the best dungeon stops. Actually, probably my favorite um, dungeon stomp. Or some people call them dungeon crawls, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. It's my, it's my favorite. All right. So if you know anything about the other ones, it was Old West meets Unspeakable Horror. And in this, we have basically the... Um, somewhere in the Orient or with uh, ninjas and samurais and that and monks, I guess. Ooh, look at that scary thing. All right, let's just get in here. Sorry, guys. All right. Later on, these are the, the models. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these out first just so we can kind of have them here. I know this isn't a really good angle, but you can kind of see some of the monsters right here through the bag. I think those are all the same. Oh, yeah, scary guys. Those actually look really good. This has a bunch of different characters here. But I will um, show some uh, better pictures of these in a second or a bit. I just don't feel like dragging all these multiple pieces out right now. Oh, okay, here we go. Now we're dealing with some, oh yeah, some characters. I can kind of see what's going on here. Look at this. Some action going on here. This is exciting. All right, what is here? I'm not sure what this is yet. Hmm. Oh my gosh. We got more models. More things going on here. Oh yeah, look at these guys. Cool, 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 cool. And then even more figures. And more figures. And more figures. But now let's get down to the assembly. Shows you how to assemble every single thing in here. So, you know, you got the... Let's see, we got the sorceress here. The hero samurai. The traveling monk. And... Oh, the ninja assassin. And here's all the other monsters we're going to be assembling in the game here. We've got the Oni, we've got the Dishonored Dead, over here we've got the, the Tenju, oh, I must, oh, that's what those wings went to. Ooh, the Acidic Tentacles, so instead of the regular tentacles in the in the base game of City and Ancients, what I got. Okay, so what is this? Hari, Hariko, no, oh, don't even ask me to pronounce it, but that's what those scary looking things are. And then we're going to have the Living Statue, I guess is the main Probably epic boss. We definitely don't want to lose that. We got cards, cards, cards over here. But let's see what. Let's take a look. Oh, of course you get your. Um, what else to buy from them? Let's look at some of the stats on these guys. Okay, first of all, let's look at the heroes. It's hero time. All right, so we got the assassin. All right. Agility, cunning spirit. Yep, everything's good here. Um, here's the different abilities. We got ninja class starts with a ninja clan card of your choice. I wonder if that's kind of like starting with special abilities like you choose it. You got nimble, deadly, silent fighter. Interesting abilities. Quick, got the best initiative. And here is the other version of it. I guess it's the same abilities, of course. But I guess if you wanted to play the male or female version of the character, you can flip your card over. Here's the Samurai Warrior. He's got a little bit better health. And he's he reminds me of the, um, the Sheriff almost in this because he has about the same stats straight across here. Uh, but he's got Max Fury 6. Interesting. So he's going to use Fury in this. 
uh, Samurai Rattle Battle Tactics, and then Battle Fury, and then your Max Fury up here. And starting items, I don't want to run some of this for me, but if you guys want to pause it, you can read that. I just don't want to run it for me until I really get in depth into it here. Okay, we got the Sorceress. I'm assuming the other side's like a Sorcerer. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's see what their abilities are here. Got mana. I guess how much you can spend for spells. Elemental magic, magic focus, and ancient arts. And it says may not use guns. It looks like it says there. Interesting. And then of course the traveling monk. Oh, cool looking picture. Let's see what the the female monk looks cool too. They both look really cool. We got a key. Max key is six. Discipline. Uh, abilities here. Let's see. We got Sacred Order. And how do you say that? Tamabushi. <laughs> oh, look. Starting with good abilities here. 12 and 12. Not so good with the range. Melee, but that should be interesting. Initiative 4. Okay, so those are the heroes. And of course... These are the same kind of dice you get to start off with. These are all your little six-sided, something differential for either crits, or I use a red for damage, and of course the eight-sided, which will be used for different weapons, like in the other adventures, the shotgun, so I'm assuming it's probably something like a katana in this one, and the peril die, which is nice to have two of those now. Let's take a look at some of these baddies here. We got Dishonored Dead. Look pretty scary. We got the... Harionango, okay. <laughs> Obviously, do not know anything about pronunciation. The Oni? I'm the Oni one. All right, Living Statue, which um, I believe that was filmed in Hot Fuzz. The Tenju, or Tengu. Look at the initiative, Pop 7. A little flying bird, it's pretty scary. Not bad to hit either, three or higher. Acidic blobs. So acid blobs and of course the acidic tentacles. And back to Dishonored Dead. So those are the those traits. Let's take a look. So it comes with two rule books, just like the um, I'm assuming like just in case someone's never played before, but there might be some slight uh, modifications in here. We have the basic rule book and the adventure book, which will probably have six basic adventures, I'm guessing, and six, um, let me see, Forbidden Fortress Mission. Well, maybe not. Maybe it only has six in this one. I don't know. looks like it goes up to okay, yeah, I saw basic missions in here. So yeah, basic mission. So it looks like it'll have at least five or six Maybe it only goes up to five in this one. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. And heroing and leveling up, it looks like it uses the same uh, ratio here. 500, 1,000, 2,000. Yeah, okay, so it goes up. Mark your new level. And that means the next page will have your uh, tree that you move up on and what you roll up on your dice here. Boy, this is nice. Um, enemy overview shows you the painting guide, all that good stuff. And this is the basic rule book. I'm assuming this will be, I'll probably read through these really well. I mean, I, I'm pretty familiar with the other, uh, the ancient city of ancients, but there might be a few other things that I'm not familiar with because there's some new mechanics and I'm thinking this probably will cover in it. Look, there's a flame template. Interesting. Corpse tokens. All right. Well, there's a lot that I don't know what's going on. Okay. Let's see what kind of charts. Oh, I almost forgot. In my other one, uh, I'll have to download this on my hard drive. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to love this music, I hope. I hope. I hope it's going to be good. I forgot that they gave that to you in the starter stuff. Basic injury chart. Madness chart. I'm assuming it's fairly similar. Oh, okay. So we have, uh, here's the, you got the N. The guardhouse, the shrine, the village market, the campsite, the swordsmith. So basically, you know, the same sort of stuff, but, you know, a little more thematic. I don't want to, ru I don't want to rule all, uh, ruin all those for me yet. Village market, which will be probably like the general store, I'm guessing. And there might be some different rules, but I don't want to um, ruin them for me yet. 
But, uh, yep, good. Yeah, yeah, still uses Darkstone to get all your stuff for your upgrades. Very good, very good. Tavern. There's probably some pretty cool uh, stuff in here. Let me just take a quick look. I mean, everybody wants to look at a few weapons, right? Let's see here. Darkstone edge on your blade. You need 15 Darkstone and a 1,000 money. Upgrade Darkstone. Wow. Yeah, very cool, very cool. All right, so we'll put those guys back. You guys know what's underneath all this, right? You know it's all the trays. And of course, you got your packs and bandages. And this looks like a darn... What does this say? Forbidden Fortress. No special... Okay. So that must be the world card. And it says, Elemental Magic. Interesting. I don't I don't want to spoil that for me yet, but I will probably break down this in many reviews. Maybe even film the player. I've already got a set of players up to play the characters in this. There's the cards. And here's some of the encounters. There's your D3 plus one Dishonored Dead. I'm not going to bust through each one of those, but... Unless you guys really want to see them, put in the comments and I'll funnel them all out to you. But I want to kind of take a quick look at the tiles. Ugh! Oh, crap. Oh, I forgot. It's been a long time since I opened up my original starter set. Look at all these tokens. The wounds. I'm guessing those are blobs or acids. You got your sanity. I got more enough of these. I keep most of my stuff probably on the character sheet now. There's your side bag items, scavenge tokens, all your good stuff. Let's take a look here. Here we go. Here's some tiles. I'm assuming that's when you're on the other and you're there in the other. Okay, let's just look at a couple of these. Just because I got to see. We got it. We got to see what's in here. All right, just a, just a, just a couple of these, right? Won't hurt a thing. Ooh, okay. All right. All right, so there's tokens everywhere. So here's some of the tiles that'll pop out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful how it's built around? It's not like your old ones. Interesting. So that one only has a three-way. So I think, if I understand, we're like in some sort of... It says fortress, so like you're in a castle or a fortress. Look how beautiful these... Uh, these tiles are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Good job on the art. Looks fantastic. Let me look at the back at one of these middle ones random here. Well, those look about the same as the first one. Hold on, let me see. What was this one? Okay, a little different. Yeah, everything in this world looks scary. Wherever you get sent to, whatever the other world is in here, it is not pleasant. I'll tell you that right now. Looks like you're inside a living organism almost. And that might be what it is. I forgot what they said it was. Actually, might as well pull out some more and look at them. Since we're here, yeah, check that out. Look at all that. Yeah, I think we're the inside of a demon or something. Okay, and there's a castle tile there. That looks great. This makes me so happy looking at all this. Some more of the tiles in the other world. Ooh, look at the little, you even have like a, the little bridge and stuff now. Well, that's nice. It's been some additions. They have really, in my opinion, with this, ramped up some of the, the art. Some more scary stuff. Places you probably don't want to be. Ooh, look at this room. Look at the shadows, how the light comes in in this. I mean, it's just really, um, the lighting and the art, really great. A bunch of scrolls in here. They were really outdoing themselves this time. Good job, Flying Frog. I am impressed with the stylized nature and artwork in this. Some more of those. Huh. Well, you know, we got to keep going now. We've looked at the other one, so we got a few more left here of the tiles. The only thing I didn't pop open was the cards. 
I think you pretty much guys are familiar with all the cards, the encounters and stuff with them. Some elite tokens. That looks really good. Mm-hmm. But I say there's the uh, depth track, which is built about the same. Oh, it's interesting. They're using like a hexagon or so circle on that. Look at that. So darkness start and even fortress start. Now they say start on it. There's a little flying frog pr production thing there. Nice. Corruption. And then we're back to all the multiple wounds. Yeah, they're the same on both sides there. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this unboxing. We'll have to do some uh, more talking about this later. Until I see you around the table, keep the dice rolling.